Um, I think everybody watching wants to know this, and let's, it's an awkward one for you, I'm sure, and I'm sure you get asked yeah, yeah. all the time. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're one of the biggest stars in Bellator, and I'm sure you mm -hmm. love working and fighting for Bellator, and I'm sure you're making mm -hmm. a great career. A lot of people on Twitter are saying, ask him when he's going to come to the UFC. So, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're happy with where you're at, but is that something that you think about? No, 100%. If, 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 I, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, when I first started the only reason i started was to go into the ufc that was the biggest thing and it obviously still is one of the, the biggest show obviously there's not a lot of other shows popping up but in general anybody that you know especially when i started anybody that was getting in there their whole goal was to get to ufc and, and the majority of people now are still the same um yes I'm, i i enjoy better tour unless i'm enjoying where i'm at i'm enjoying um you know my my, my success and how, how i've done so far but i definitely feel like i need to touch the ufc at some point um and and just, uh, just test myself there as well. You know, uh, there's there's some great matches to be made over there. So I, I definitely think in future. I don't know when though. I can't say when. I'm obviously I'm 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 contracted to to be in Abella. So like I said, I've got some goals that I really want to achieve there as well. Um, and I feel like I'm I'm, I'm close to doing that. Uh, but until until uh, until then, uh, but I, I definitely still see myself going there. Do you is uh, is the rematch with Douglas Lima something that you really want to 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 achieve before leaving Bellator? A hundred percent. And this is what I've I've been every fight that I've had since Lima, I'd come back out and be like, yeah, when you, whenever you're ready, man, I'm ready. I want to I want to get I want to run that back. I want to get that back. And, and that's your I, oh, sorry. I, go on. No, sorry. Go on. Go on. Well, I was going to say that's your only loss. Maybe just you know talk a little bit about that because you know you're you're such a talented fighter and once again one of the mm -hmm. biggest stars. How tough was it to deal with that loss, and what did you learn from it? Well, it's funny because um, as you know, Michael Bisping would just said in the freestyle world, you if it, you can eat a lot of humble pie, and that included me. I didn't start great. I didn't start talented. I it was years of getting my ass kicked. In fact, one of um Alfie Lewis's uh, students. Good friend of mine now, uh, Robbie Hughes. He's actually a dentist now. Um, uh, he was it's a person kind of an ironic to... job for somebody that knocks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and he was good at it as well. Um, he's a person I, you know, he, he's only he was only like a, probably like three years older than myself, but he's a person that I thought was just amazing in, in, in the sport. Um, so just an unbelievable martial artist and somebody that used to whoop my ass every time. Like uh, he's a, he's a bit shorter. So it was all about weight divisions and height when you're younger. Um, so, and I was always tall for my age. So I'd always have to fight people that are slightly older than me as well. So it, it was a tough road. So getting beaten up wasn't, it wasn't anything. Yeah, we, I, I'm used to losing. I'm talking probably four years straight going to, as you say, going, driving out to Manchester, uh, you know, flying over to Scotland, driving down to Liverpool, driving up here up and down for the whole day, you spend the whole day and literally get your ass kicked for the whole day and then have to drive back. When everyone in your team, you know, we were doing well at the time, so everyone in your team has medals and they're talking about how they this fight and how they beat that person and so on and so forth. And I'm sitting there like, I have no stories apart from being punched and kicked in the face. <laughs> so losing, <laughs> losing to me is it's not uncommon. I know it's uncommon in the MMA world, but I don't care about losing. I, I genuinely find this thing a game. And I've said to people, if I didn't believe I was doing well in, in that fight, I wouldn't want to get back in the cage with him. Like, if, if I feel like he just destroyed me, I'm, all I'm focusing on is just getting better. But as soon as I had the next fight, I'm like, I'm ready to go again because I feel like I was in control of that fight and I made the mistake. I made the mistakes in that fight which led you to win. I'm not saying that it was a lucky thing for you. You're an athlete, but... I feel like I can rectify that. And I feel like if I correct those, that's those few mistakes that I, I did during that fight, I will win that fight. And do you have any kind of inclination on whether or not that'll be your next fight? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for it big time. Yeah. Like, uh, I've, like I said, I've, I've, I think I've gone I've got five fights since that fight and, and yeah. one, one or five. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing, but you know how this, the game works. It's, somebody can jump in there. Some, it, it's weird. But I think because of the ranking system that's just been released, it, it's going to make it very difficult for them to not give me the fight next. But it doesn't mean they can't. You see what I'm saying? So I, course, I'm, yeah. I'm pushing for it. I'm pushing for it, but hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens.